those of you who are there, guys, this is our Indie Highlight Series here. Uh, I'm Alex here with Urban Gaming Elite, and we're doing a game I've actually wanted to see for a little while. Uh, it came out kind of recently, but I've never had a chance really to jump into it, so I'm actually really excited to check out this game. Uh, this is called War of Mind, or this War of Mind, excuse me, it's by 11-Bit Studios. Uh, it was really sometime about mid-November of this year. It's supposed to be kind of an, uh, I don't want to say episodic, that's not the right word, kind of more of an environmental-based game, a lot like uh, Nevermind or even Never Alone which we played before. So it's supposed to be kind of a more realistic take on war and that whole aspect as kind of seen by the fuck the war comment showing up in the front of it. So I guess I'm going to give it a couple minutes here just for everybody to kind of pop in that want to check it out here. But we'll give it a try. So um, I only know a little bit about this game just kind of from what I've read and I've seen. So I am kind of jumping in blind as well. Should be fun. Okay, let me know if it keeps doing that, because I'm, I'm running through a sync, and the, the audio sync might be screwing up for some reason. Whoa. It's like a dollhouse. How long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say, when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling, I can't read properly, jeez. It's ordinary business almost every night. Bones don't work, and there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Wow, that's a nice cheery start, don't you think? <laughs> Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel when scavenging for supplies. He used to be a star football player, and now he's another homeless victim of war. Teamed up, hoping for the best. Alright. Whoa. They're definitely throwing in here with, like, nothing. Skilled scavenger, fast runner, slightly sick. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, I only know very basic things here, so this is kind of interesting. Okay, so... Interesting. Herbs. Various herbs that can be used to make herbal medications and roll up cigarettes, of course. Hmm. Slightly wounded. Really sick. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep moving him. Someone else seems to be kind of mucked up. Is it really? What the hell? I wonder why it's doing that. Supplies down there? Oh, I can't tell. Might be supplies. Oh, improvement. Okay. Hmm. Just get items. Made one hour. Okay, so you need a bunch of crap to do it. Makes sense. What's 
this one then. Oh, it's the same thing, okay. Oh, okay, that's how you do the different items. I got you. Oh, I can actually make these things, okay. Crude stove. Double-clicking is running. <laughs> okay. What the hell? That's not cool. some audio issues. Oh, it's better? Okay, cool. Woohoo! Okay, good. I was about to say, I was, was going to reset it. For some reason, my, my software must not have synced properly. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm um, limited if it starts doing it again otherwise, but for right now, I'm just going to, I think, leave it and hope it's better. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. sudden it's giving me issues like that. Hmm. That's a bit bothersome. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, we have reached over all the shoulders not safe. Maybe constantly be on guard. Alright, so looks like you gotta build a bunch of shit. What did I grab up here? Oh, I just made him. Oh, of course, I just made him randomly. That was smart. Okay, so I gotta build shit. What should I make? There's the bed. Oh, here we go. Simple heater. That's probably a good idea. Um, I don't know where to put it though. Okay, we'll put it there. Can't tell what that symbol means. then. <laughs> Shell, the many houses are still burning. People were fleeing for their lives in a hurry, so we may find some new stuff there without meeting anyone. 
Oh, it's different places I can go, okay. Scavenge, sleep in bed. Plan the night. Oh my god. I only made the one bed, of course. That. Actually, let's let the sick guy sleep in bed. I don't have anybody guarding, do I? I'm probably gonna get screwed, I can just tell. Oops, oh, why didn't I? I don't think I took things. I think I. I'm not very good at this. Still, this is still burning, okay. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Because that means, like, look inside. should have maybe like gotten rid of the materials and gone for food instead? Nah, I don't know. I was like to check my connections too to make sure I haven't like pulled one of the connections out. Now it doesn't look like that's an issue. Slowly wounded and tired. That sounds alright. I don't have any food. I see, I should have scavenged food first. I don't need another bed, so let's do that. Alright, cool, good to know. So he's sick, he's recovering, these are just good. Alright, thanks. Did I not get food out of that? I thought I, oh, I got herbs, I never grabbed any food. Son of a bitch, I'm an idiot. So I guess I don't need that many beds. Make a radio? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. oh, that's right, that lock wasn't open. I forgot about that. I should have gotten food, that was stupid of me. Oops. No, you get back over there and do that. No, nah! My ability to click is horrible. I 
the radio was kind of cool. I wasn't really knowing what to expect out of that either. Oops, oh, I just clicked, clicked, clicked the other accident, didn't I? Okay, oops. Clean, oh, we do have clean water, okay. You need to prepare a good meal or make alcohol. Okay, so, can I... How do I, I guess, what do I need to make... Oh, actually, you know what, hold on. Food. Our collector. Okay, there's gotta be a way to make medicine, then I feel like. sick anyway, so you do the same. Oh, this bugger needs fuel too, that's what that's saying, okay. I'm not very good at this. Okay, so that's not how you make... Yeah, it's on one and two if it's the stove I need or whatever. I'm gonna try the stove I think here next. scavenge, but yeah, I kind of need to. Some food, lots of materials, some meds. Huge amounts of food. Alright, let's him hand out for it, because we use equipment during it, our things. We use equipment during attack. I don't have anything to take any of the matter. I have no weapons, though. Shot, aren't I? What's that? Oh, it's a hiding spot, okay. Whoa.
Oh crap. There are steps coming. Are they coming down this way? I saw the red noises. That's probably not a good thing here. Crap. Oh man. Fertilizer. Crap. I still need food. I'm guessing that's like a lookout here, so I'm pretty sure. Oh shit. I have no idea of this combat in the game. I'm guessing there is. The game's kind of told me nothing, so it's been interesting. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Like, I don't know how to get up there. Man, is it really all I'm gonna get out of all this? This kind of sucks. That's all for now then. Bugger. Damn. I'm gonna die like on day three here. Jeez. I mean, I guess there's combat because you can get like ammunition and weapons. I know I saw that. Get up. Everybody's hungry. I don't think I got any food, did I? Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. Oh, of course that door is locked. Well, then I don't know what the hell to have you do. I know, man. <laughs> You're doing like going, I'm not very good at this game. Interesting. I feel like it's a trap. Pretty sure it's trapped. Uh 
Oh, where he's got shit to trade. Canned food, cigarette, coffee, herbal meds. Show me what you wish to trade. I guess on the bright side, at least I have food. I have cook something then too. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, he's pretty much good now. He's tired, but let's have him get some food here so he doesn't freaking die on me here. Okay, go to sleep. Alright, put him to sleep. I think I'll try to end the day and see if there's something else I can do out of it. Scavenge one, okay. That's kind of annoying. Well, then let's uh, type scavenger scavenge, I guess. Sick guy sleeps. I don't know if I need to guard, that's part of the problem. Huge wants food, large meds. I have a visitor there. Lots of food. I'm willing to steal, oh, that's annoying. Amazing. Thank you so much for feel some weapons, lots of parts. I don't know, do I go do I risk going for the food? If I get a bunch of materials and crap like that, use that to trade possibly in the future. I wanna do that. But I'd rather kind of, you know, have room, I guess, since I don't have anything anyways. Let's 
go down. I'm trying to find if I'm gonna be a dick or not. Oh, nice, okay. I wonder if I know if he actually gets up or not. Try going upstairs first. That guy dead? He might be. That is creepy to the utmost degree. Dearest Marsha, I found shelter among the homeless. I am no longer a teacher or artist. I am one of them now. So much food, so many of our friends already left us. Do not be worried. I too will see more appropriate refuge as soon as I finish my painting. Well, that just seems to be a guy with bad priorities. Uh, the question is, do I want to drop down and try to fight this guy? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'm being an inhumane one, but... I'm probably gonna get shot. So, let me just do that, and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well... Oh. Hey, he's actually a nice guy. Please, I'm so hungry. I don't have any food, unfortunately, pal. Yeah, well, looks can be deceiving. You can big all you want, pal. I ain't got anything, so... Yeah, it's all the same crap in here, come. I do feel bad for the guy, and I wish I could help him, but it's like, I don't even have any food myself. Is this guy really gonna just follow me? That's kinda weird. Just bust through everything. Sorry, man, I decided not to fight. <laughs> no, it's not that. We've been raided. Oh! See, I should have guarded. <laughs> oh, damn it! 
Someone tried to rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers. They didn't do much harm. Oh man, too bad we had no weapons. Run around probably will ruin the attackers. Took a few things. We should put more people on guard. That sucks. Damn it. Oh, I suck at this game. He's wounded, and I'll let him. <laughs> Sick and wounded. Great. Huh. Jeez. I want to make that because I think with that I can make like a lock pick. Something to open up these damn locked door things. Yeah, I know we need food, pal. I'm working on it. Hmm. They said didn't take a radio. Food, water, and a book. I don't know if I trust him. Ugh. Where's the cookie in? I think I have him check that out. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wow, it takes him 10 minutes across that part of it. That's kind of funny. Oops. Oh, I can't be bored at my windows. I live nearby with my daughter. I've heard rumors of looters pillaging houses and raping women. Jikes. I can lock the doors, but they can get inside through the windows. Can you help me board them up? My husband's taking my room first. The warren hasn't returned yet. We're alone. Please help us. Uh. I mean, I. My guy's hungry, sick, and wounded. I really don't think I can spare him to do that. You're the runner. You know, with you being sick and wounded, I think I'm gonna have you go get food. He's just hungry. Yeah, I know. Oh, I wish I had more materials right now. to get stuff through in here. Jeez. Well, I mean, I guess let's do that, try to scavenge and hope I don't get screwed. Oh, I know you're wounded. 
there's like a tube we're gonna have to do it that way, I think. Alright, let's go check the garage, I guess. If I want to trade, I guess that's kind of the thought process here. Let's take the book. The parts. Oops. Not too many, though. Maybe some sugar. Oops. Why are you running? statement, jeez. Homegrown tobacco, hey hey. I don't think I need much more of the woods, so I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Oh wow, there's a lot more stuff over here. Jeez. Why can't I bring multiple people? I wish I could now. Oh, I didn't bring any with me either, did I? Oh, it's coffee. He's looking for meds and I see that. I was stealing, not looting. Ha! <laughs> I feel bad now. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't salvage during combat. Okay. Oh, man. I mean, the guy's got a knife and shit like that. I don't think I really want to go fist cuffs with him. That'd be a stupid thing to do. I'll just take what I can out of this. I feel about this game so far. I don't know. It's interesting, but it's not. I I, I get it. You know, I'm I'm big into the atmospheric stuff, so I do actually really like this kind of thing. All right, man. Sounds good. Did I? No, of course not. No, because he was guarding, that's right.
beds do I? Damn it. I'm gonna get you up for now then have you rest there. I know you're hungry, Bell. No. Oops. No, why are you You're supposed to be resting the bell.
Screwed six ways a Sunday here. I think I gotta take a chance at it. food though unfortunately which kind of sucks I don't think I did die coffee fertilizer black herbs yeah still no food though damn it but I don't have much of a choice. No, uh, militaries in this one, so I wasn't risk the fighting. It was kind of like a, yeah, no, that ain't happening. I keep finding ammunition and shit, but... How do I 
worth searching through here some more. At least it wasn't mine. There was a lot of crap here. Yay! Alright, that'll actually be a nice score then. I think I can actually build a weapon out of this now too. Which would be nice. Thank God. Let's see, I think we really found ourselves. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, you get to sleep. Well, hold on, wait, wait, before you do that, I actually. Oh, I have his medicine, so they sick, wounded, sad, tired. And I thought I had bandages, that sucks. Very hungry. Medicine up there. It's very hungry too. I'll let him rest and I'll get food, I think. Interesting, okay. Wow, that's not even worth that's not even worth the bandage for you, dude. I need the bandage. 
bandage. I kind of want the knife. and I can at least dress the guy's wounds here. Meds and bandage. That's a lot nicer. Hungry, sad, tired. Or hungry, wounded, sad, excuse me. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, that's what I should do. I need to trade it with you, you little. That's kind of cool.
should have sent one of my. Well, I guess actually my sick people I've pretty much done with would have been fine. If nobody sees me, can I steal it? I don't want to find out. Shut up. Maybe. Kinda. Shh. Well, some of the things are can scavenge, but yes, I did just steal for hospital. So don't judge me. Yes, I just did it again. Be nice, I won't steal everything from the hospital. Yeah, we should have done a better job. <laughs> Alright, so I totally just get screwed again now. Sweet. Fucking finally. <laughs>
was begging for a cigarette. I agree, enough sleeping. Military outpost. I'm sure that one of danger. Piece. I do have meds I can trade now too. What is that one? Double the watch. It's crucial to secure a place against an intruder. Two persons. Oh. Because I had two people there and they had you. Chilling, that's not a good sign. Sirens and the sounds of explosions. Death and not living the sirens and explosions.
Guard dude moved somewhere, but I don't know where. Yes, yeah, since I have the knife, I'm not scavenging. I might just walk by a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's not good. I'm not very good at this game at all. 
Well, you know what? I actually think that might be a good place to actually leave things with it then. So, for those of you guys who are tuning in with it, this is called This War of Mine. Uh, it's a game by 11 Bit Studios uh, here for our Indie Highlights series. Interesting game, kind of an uh, atmospheric uh, approach to it. You see that with a lot of the indie titles now, which is kind of cool. Um, this one specifically is supposed to be focused on giving you a truer experience of what war is like and basically the hell of war. Uh, kind of just the difficulty of the game alone and the having to kind of think things through. I think does a pretty good job of doing that, surprisingly. You can pick this game up right now on Steam. It is actually on sale on Steam right now, I think for 20% off, um, which thinks it makes it 15. I have to look, I don't remember for sure. But a decent game. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of it so far just because uh, it's a little. I like the difficulty, I like the atmospheric piece, the game itself. To me, the gameplay is just a little bit boring, and that might be just because I'm not approaching it the right way. I'll be completely honest on that. But. I don't know, that's kind of how I see with it. For those of you that are uh, interested in tuning in this series, we are going to be doing uh, The Binding of Isaac uh, next week. We are going to try to do it this week, but I had some configuration issues in trying to install it, and it wasn't installing properly, so I'm hoping between this week and next week I can figure it out. Uh, otherwise, I will probably do something else, like pulling something out of the vault. With that as well, guys, if you haven't seen already or haven't checked out the website, please, please, please check out our website, urbangamingelite.com. We do different articles, postings, etc. on there. We have a huge, huge, huge plan for 2015 for a bunch of different things we're trying to do, both between live streams and partnerships with other groups, live events, and the like. So please check it out if you guys haven't before. Otherwise, if you're new to the stream, always go ahead and hit that follow button. We appreciate that. Let us know what you think. Commentary, of course, is always nice. Uh, we will have this up on YouTube hopefully by the end of next week. For those of you that didn't get a chance to catch the whole stream, you can put it up there so you can see it there. On top of that, we will be doing a very special stream on January 10th. We're actually going to be doing a 24-hour streamathon. Um, I specifically will be for Extra Life, trying to kind of kick off 2015 in a good note. So looking at doing uh, raising money for that and donations. If you don't know what Extra Life is, check them out at Extra Life. That's extra-life.org. Uh, they're a huge charity that works with the uh, Children's Miracle Network to try to raise money for a bunch of different systems and a bunch of different hospitals and communities across the United States that works with children. Uh, specifically, most of these hospitals are set up in a realm so that you know, the children are, are given treatment and help and whatever they need despite the fact, or I guess kind of despite the fact is a way to say that, um, whether or not the parents and family can pay. That isn't an issue with it, and they help try to create a loving and kind of calming atmosphere for the kids. So it is a very great network. If you've never had a chance, check out Children's Hospital. There's plenty of them across the way. Um, we specifically are, are raising for Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. You go down there and seriously, in 30 seconds, the kids just kind of melt your heart. So you have to kind of do it. So we are doing a streamathon, so I'll be subjecting myself to 24 hours without sleep and playing through games. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for that yet, uh, but most likely it will be League of Legends. Uh, just that's a game I know I can play consistently for a while. Probably use that to try to push up through the rankings. So with that, thank you to everyone who did tune in, guys. Uh, my name is Alex again, and I am the uh, founder and CEO runner of Urban Gaming Elite. And you've just checked out our Indie Highlights series with This War is Mine by 11-Bit Studios. Hope to check you guys again.